All right. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the pre-market prep. I hope everyone's having an amazing oh, morning. You hope you're not on in the room. I'm not on in the room. Oh, oh yeah. Thank you for that. Let's turn on the mic there. All right. So good morning, guys. Welcome to the pre-market prep. I hope everyone's having an amazing morning. Hope you had a great day yesterday. Uh, Norm, how are you doing today? Good morning, Carlos. I'm doing great. Happy Masters November. November Masters. Never yes. thought I would see the day. It's absolutely insane. It, it, it is happening. <laughs> so, so, oh yeah. Anyway, um, hope everybody's having a great day. Yep, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Let's take a look at uh, what we had yesterday. Um, so our list uh, included ACB, uh, which was a little rough at the start. If I remember, yeah, a little rough at the start right here. And then, uh, uh, oops, wrong chart I'm looking at. Let's share what I'm looking at with you guys. Here it is, the five minute on ACB. And this would have been for uh, yesterday. So right here, a little bit of a, of a rough start for it. Uh, again, just kind of chopping around. They didn't really do much. And then around uh, what seems to be one o'clock or so, it just starts taking off. Great volume once again, almost imagine to what the open was in that first candle. And you can see here how great that trade is. So uh, again, I wasn't around for that part, but again, it's just incredible. If you're if you're trading the entire day, you know, you're patient, you wait for these setups, you wait for the volume to come in, you wait for it to hit the scanners, you can take advantage of stuff like this. So again, held this level nicely here, the 661, the entire day really. Got a couple of drops here to the 640, but for the most part, held this level the entire day. Uh, and then a beautiful breakout here after it could not go any lower. So that was ACB. Uh, this was NEO. NEO continues to be very good to us. Uh, had an initial drop uh, hitting some of these levels we had, 38.72. And then the takeoff. Uh, this thing comes right back, back up above the averages, above this 39.67 level that we had here. And just look how beautiful NEO trades with volume. Uh, again, this morning they're in play. I mean, this stock has just been uh, uh, unbelievable. So you can see it here as well. It does get a little bit of rejection there, but it was a run of the entire day. So pretty nice uh, uh, play there on NEO. XPEV, uh, this one is just, again, it looks nice now, but if you look at the price session, it wasn't clean. It's very difficult to trade, I find. Uh, and yesterday, uh, I just didn't see any good opportunities here uh, to catch a trade. So again, not that it was not tradable, um, but again, just very difficult. Uh, Lyft yesterday was a little bit rough. It did have a beautiful pop and then a nice drop here. Again, two uh, two crazy candles here. And then it gets this beautiful rejection of 38.50. It drops down nicely to the VWAP. Nice, a false VWAP breakout here, trying to get above it fails and then you get this beautiful drop towards the your target here will be you know the low of the pre-market uh you, you don't expect to go the way down here low of the pre-market right here 37 10 this level that we had um but then it breaks that too right keeps going down towards the low of the day and then some so lift really took a hit today they're there they look good today i was looking at them earlier as well so we'll take a look at lift um here is ccl again just nasty candles at the open drop i don't like the way this setup here uh it's just i don't know it just didn't look great then you got this crazy pop again it just was not clean yesterday uh, at all their price action was pretty weird uh for ccl here's plug now plug did what it usually uh, tends to do when it's going to be strong breaks out of the pre-market highs we've seen this so many times out of plug look at this uh somewhat crappy pre-market action but we kept this one on here because it had a great daily uh, and then look at the push above the uh, right at the high of the pre-market. You get this beautiful takeoff and it trades very well. You get a nice little pop there and keeps going. So again, plugs just uh, trading very well, very well yesterday. So that is what we had on our list, guys. Let's take a look at um, what's going on with the market, Norm, this morning. Yeah, man. Uh, so SPY is currently down about a third of a percent. QQQ is up. Uh, well, now it's uh, just under a half a percent. It's popping right now. We saw rotation in technology yesterday. Um, we did just have economic data come out. We had um, initial jobless claims and continuing claims coming better than expected, which is a little bit of a breath of fresh air, considering they've been at least uh, initial claims have been worse than expected the last few reports. So uh, pretty decent shape there. Economic data uh, today, uh, we also had um, consumer price index and core CPI as well come out at 8.30. Nothing too crazy there uh, that I saw. We've got Jay Powell speaking at 11.45 along with some other uh, Fed people. And mm -hmm. then, uh, so that's uh, kind of uh, goes on throughout midday there, a few different uh, Fed chairs and Fed presidents speaking. So 
um, it's what we got. All right. Uh, this Those numbers to... did uh, peak up yeah. the market a little bit. The futures, mm -hmm. spy futures were down quite a bit uh, early, I guess, in the middle of the night. They came up to essentially previous day close uh, and were headed back down again. Matter of fact, are they at their lows? Yeah, they were at their lows in the evening um, a little while ago. And this economic data sparked them back up. So let's keep an eye on it and see if we get back to green today. All right. Excellent. Uh, okay, guys, let's get to our gappers list this morning. Let's remove what we have here. Uh, I am going to bring in uh, Neo. I think Lyft also. I think this one had a, a good uh, chart as well. So we're going to put these two on here. Neo, of course, look at their daily. It just looks amazing. Uh, and obviously, they trade very, very well. I do like the way this is setting up here. Now, we can take some of these levels off from yesterday because we do have some new levels, highs and lows, previous day close now. And uh, again, just looking good for a possible breakout out of this all-time high here around 45, 41, right? So uh, up 1.4 right now, as usual, amazing volume, 4.3 million at, at the moment. So, and Lyft, I, I saw Lyft earlier. I like their daily. Pre-market's not doing all that much right now, but their daily on Lyft looks interesting. Uh, you know, if they want to lose this and close this gap uh, over here. So I'm, you know, I'm going to keep this one on here for now. Let's see what that does. When we, when we do uh, our our fine-tuning here. All right, so we have a lot on both sides, guys, gapping up and gapping down. Some of these tickers don't look great just by uh, by some of the ones that we are used to seeing here. Um, let's take a look at what we have. Let's look at the top five on, on the gap up and top five on the gap down, and then I'll take it over to you guys, see what you guys have this morning. FOSL, this one, pre-market, not looking all exciting at the moment. It is up 25.6, so that's pretty good. Uh, Norm, any news on this one uh, causing Absolutely. this uh, gap? This is Fossil Group. They reported earnings last night. Uh, they had a big surprise to the upside, mostly based on sales in China. They do have a large short float at 26%. They were up quite a bit mm -hmm. after hours last night. Um, and uh, sorry, I had Benzinga squat going off. Yep. Um, and I turned that off. Uh, so it could be interesting. This one... Um, who knows? Might set up for a squeeze. We'll keep an eye on it. I'm going to evaluate it as we go through the morning and see how it goes. Yeah, uh, yeah. As I've mentioned in the past, I'm very careful about squeezes. You can't assume they're going to happen. You can have a feel one way or the other, uh, but you know, sit back and, and wait for it to form if it's going to. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. It's just like any other indicators, right? I mean, that's an indicator. To, if you see your opportunity or, or your play, you know, that could be some information you can use for a possible run. Uh, next, we have just popped up here, PDD. Uh, this one is uh, taking off nicely today, up 23%, 1.8 million so far. So that's pretty good volume. Uh, this, uh, this stock normally does not trade a whole lot of volume. So to be at 1.8, we got some good stuff going on this morning. Uh, what's the latest yep. and greatest on this one? They had earnings this morning. Their uh, earnings per share came in with a much, much smaller loss than expected. Uh, they lost three cents compared to expected 17 cent loss, and uh, their revenues were 10% eh, or so higher than expected. So, popping on that news this morning. All right, excellent. Uh, we got a good question here, and uh, for anybody that's new, what do we mean by a squeeze, Norm? So, if you could kind of uh, let's go back to the one we saw on uh, Fossil and kind of explain what a squeeze is for those new me newer members and people that are just joining us for the first time. Yeah, um, so a, a squeeze, a short squeeze, uh, is traditionally when there are a very high percentage or amount of shorts held in the stock. Um, it's generally, I will say this, uh, and we talk about squeezes on things in here, and it's more of kind of a, a generic term thrown about when there's too many shorts in a, in a very short time frame. It starts getting bought up and everybody starts covering at the same time. A traditional squeeze is when a lot of people are really short. And if you could show those scanners right there and point out, Carlos, where it says short float on there, when you start getting yeah. short float, 25, 30, 50 percent, we've seen them way higher than that even on some things. Um, you, uh, you've covered those up now with your epic pin. There you go. Yeah. Uh, so what happens is um, you've got everybody rushing to cover their short position. You've got margin calls. Uh, because of you know uh, brokers forcing you to close those positions, and it drives the stock high, pr price higher and higher, which in turn makes more people do the same thing, and it's just like dominoes falling over. So uh, if you wanna if you wanna study it, I would suggest the 
Volkswagen, just Google Volkswagen short squeeze and you'll get the uh, uh, really good lesson on what a massive, massive short squeeze is. Yep. All right, guys. Uh, so let's get to what else we have here. So that is uh, PDD. So uh, we have that on here. That looks good this morning. Great volume. Uh, FPRX. Uh, this one uh, daily not looking great. Had a nice pop uh, yesterday. Uh, Pre-market, again, up 21% right now. Pre-market looks okay. How did this trade uh, yesterday morning? Let's see here. Uh, yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure about this one, guys. Uh, it is not a low flow stock sitting right at 35 million. Uh, but again, it's just not typically what I like to watch the way this thing trades. So I'm, I'm going to stay away from it, uh, this morning. If you are going to watch this one, just put it on your risky pile because it can be that type of stock that it can be very, uh, wild, uh, VXRT. We haven't seen this one in a couple of days here. Uh, VXRT is up 12.5 this morning. It has a good pre-market action. Now, after this thing has dropped, we are trading this quite a bit. Uh, but after it has come down below $10, below $7, it's really been a little bit more difficult to see a good pre-market action. But today we have 2.4 on it. Uh, again, I don't usually like stock close to that $5 range. I like them out well above that. Uh, but this one looks interesting today. Uh, Norm, anything going on with VXRT? Maybe somebody sees something specific. Yeah. Um, they, I know they've had some oral COVID vaccine stuff, and I think they might have announced some more news. I don't have specific details mm -hmm. on it. If anybody wants to throw that in there, but um, you know, if, if somebody could come up with an oral vaccine, that would be a lot easier to administer, and they they could be in, you know a, a huge beneficiary if that happens. So yeah, yeah, absolutely. So again, guys, looking good right now. I'm not sure if this is going to hold because we've seen this stock again going go from trading very well a couple not of a months fan ago, of this one, and. I didn't tell you. Yeah, and it's been it hasn't been great after that. And you're and you're right, Norm. A lot of those moves were, you know, were probably a, what three or four days out of the entire time. But again, they were really good moves, very clean. We haven't seen that from the stock in a while. This pre market does look interesting. I'm gonna have it here for now. Probably move it down as possible. But if they have a catalyst behind it, if somebody can find out, that would be even more more interesting there uh G -G -R -W -G, i don't like what i'm seeing here i don't like the daily uh and i definitely do not like the pre-market action so i'm gonna skip on that one that is the top five on our gapping up list let's look at the top five on the gapping down uh vrm this one's pre-market uh, it's got volume in it it's down 9.5 uh very light on the volume for the most part i don't like the daily on this one just look how low the volume is down here usually less than three million left to whatever that is million shares for the entire day so that's not good for us we need volume today they seem to have a little bit better uh but again just not seeing anything great on this one right now the only thing that might look a little bit decent on this is the fact that you kind of had a double bottom going here and today you're being shocked by this drop below that level of support so uh, maybe that can create some volatility for us, but right now the pre market is pretty bad. H Y L N. They had earnings last, had oh, earnings last night. Uh, yeah, they had earnings mm -hmm. last night. Some disappointing uh, forward guidance. Yeah, you know what? what that is uh, that could be interesting, guys. Again, you're below that area of the daily. It's the only thing that looks great on it. I'm gonna throw it on here as a possible because it, this there could be an opportunity here if it gets better uh, towards that market open. H-Y-L-N, horrible pre-market right now, guys. You got 190 down 7.7, .7, not looking all that great. Uh, also, their daily is not, uh, not too exciting here. Recent IPO looks like. Uh, yes, recent IPO just last month. Um, I'm not seeing anything great right now, so I'm going to skip on this one. We do not have shares for short with Interactive Brokers. We don't have the S right there, so uh, we're going to just skip on that one for now. Um, let's look at CN, uh, CNK. So CNK right now, uh, we've seen this one before. Another one that does not trade very well uh, neither. So look at this pre-market. It's very crappy right now. Look at the day. It doesn't look great. Uh, again, just going to skip on this. RC the technical term for it. I'm sorry? That's the technical term is crappy. <laughs> Yes, absolutely. Uh, let's look at RCL. Uh, RCL leading the way with volume today, gapping down uh, 4.2. Uh, actually, not volume, just a gap up because NCLH has a lot more. So RCL uh, gapping down 4.2 this morning. Uh, interesting, interesting. Uh, put us a possible, but I think CCL probably look, will look better. They're, all three of them are right here or your uh, 
uh, cruise lines that we tend to watch. NCLH also down nicely, 3.5, a little bit more volume. That's good. We, again, we had a huge gap on this on Monday. I mean, it's just incredible what the travel companies did on Monday with the gap up. Um, they were very extended by the time we got into the market open. But uh, but here, guys, we're kind of giving some back. Let's look at CCL. How does that look? This looks good. Now, CCL has a, a better, better pre-market activity, pre-market action. They have great volume. Uh, again, a couple of bad days in here uh, for them. So they seem to be wanting to close this gap. So I'm going to put CCL on top of my uh, list here. Uh, now, keep in mind RCL, which usually gets lesser volume. Uh, NCLAs, we have traded before in the past, and that one tends to trade very clean also. So just keep those in mind. Uh, pick the best one that you think is uh, that you like to trade. All right, so that covers about the top four because I'm going to include the cruise lines all together in one. Let's do one more. Let's do Oxy, kind of get an idea what's happening here. So Oxy right now, uh, again, also big gap up on Monday. Not doing much right now. Pre-market is pretty light uh, for the most part. So, uh, Norm, what do you like this morning on your end? I'm still looking, man. I'm still yep. looking. All right, excellent. So let's get to our chat room, guys. What do you guys have uh, that you like? Let's start with uh, who we have here. Oh, hold on a second. I've just skipped someone. Here it is, Edwin. He has JD. Let's see what JD is up to. Uh, JD, interesting pop here, uh, 4.8. They got good volume this morning, 807. So that's decent. Uh, I do like that there. I am going to add JD as a possible. And the only reason is because it can be very, very choppy. Uh, but I do like this pop in this volume right now. So um, that's good for us to look at. Uh, LI, I don't like LI personally. I don't like the way it trades. Um, but I know it's been a pretty active one. Right now, pre-market 1.5 has a lot of volume, up 5.7. This daily does look good, though. You, know, you guys like to drop here. Um, I wish the, the 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 bodies on these candles were a little bit wide, uh, wider, right? You kind of have narrow bodies and huge wicks. Um, so again, that tends to be, that tends to create choppiness. Uh, that's what that means. But here, guys, it looks good. The daily does look great. The pre-market does not, though. I don't like the way the pre-market is forming. Uh, I'm going to bring this up as a, as a possible uh, for now. Uh, XPEV, a few of you guys throwing that one out here. Let's take a look what's happening there. Now, this one uh, has been very, very active. Their daily also looks really good, guys. Look at the breakout here we had a couple of days ago. Nice little pop, kind of a pullback here, back to this area of support at 31. A nice day yesterday, and now a gap up at 5%. We're giving some back already. Whereas as high as 38, but again, this stock on the on the bigger time frame still looks very strong here. I like the daily pattern on this one. So um, let's add XPV XPEV on the list here. Great volume for almost five million uh, at the moment. Uh, let's head down to NKLA. Wow, what is that doing? NKLA. This one's up 1.1. Uh, pre markets are low all over the place, and again, this stock has really lost a lot of its. Uh, the fun times we had with it. I mean, it hasn't been trading well since probably October, maybe. Uh, we got a couple of nice drops here. And even some of these days were very wild. I remember when this thing was trading in this. Well, you guys all remember how this thing was trading here. I mean, you had to, uh, it was a nail bite every time you took a trade on this thing. So uh, unless there's any news, any positive news, that is, because this thing already has a lot of negative news. At least it did. I'm not sure if that stuff has cleared up. It hasn't done much. So I'm going to keep it out of my list for now, guys. And, and again, 150 uh, for this stock, as far as number of shares traded, it's not really a lot because um, you know how much volume this thing could trade. Look how much volume we had in the past. This one was trading somewhat decent. That volume has really dropped after early October. We haven't seen anything good out of that one. Um, so I'm going to keep it aside there. But I do agree with you, uh, Hamnish. Uh, Hamnish, this is uh, this consolidating over a couple of days. So if there's any news, it could get a pop here. Uh, but right now, I don't like the way it's uh, setting up. Uh, Baba, let's take a look at that one. Uh, Baba has a decent pre-market action. This is uh, uh, 814, nice little bounce off of 265. Yeah, this is good. Well, let's put Baba on here. Well, let's head down over to uh, Delta, Delta Airlines uh, from David from Connecticut. Delta Airlines, nice drop here, down 3.3, 351. Very similar to what some of these travel companies are doing, our cruise lines. Again, they had a huge gap on Monday. Uh, and now they're kind of giving uh, some of that back, right? Closing this gap down. So I do like Delta. Let's see what else we have. We have other airlines here. United is also good. Um, how about American Airlines? They tend to get a little bit more heavier volume. United Airlines has 1.7. It's funny though. United Airlines gets more volume, but I think they tend to be more choppy. I'm not sure if you guys agree with that, but uh, I find them to be a little bit more choppier than like a Delta or United uh, I am going to uh, watch uh, Delta today, and uh, I'll keep in mind all the airlines as well when we when we look at that. 
Uh, plug. Did we look at plug? No, we have not. Let's take a look at plug. What's happening here? Yeah, plugs daily. Uh, it looks great, guys. Beautiful breakout yesterday. We're down this morning. Possible breakout, um, as it usually does when it's going to be strong for the day. Yeah, that pre market high. Uh, it's important on plug, very, very important. So make sure you have that on your on your charts. PLTR, I see that on both lists, uh, both chats. Uh, also has a beautiful daily here as well. Uh, up to run. yeah, up two point eight. Look at the pattern here. This is a great, great daily chart, guys. Nice pullback, you know. Buy, get some support here, and then the breakout yesterday, possible continuation. Um, and this is a recent IPO, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, recent IPO. So uh, we have we're, we're, this list is piling up so fast. PLTR looks good. Okay. Um, what else we have, guys? Uh, EDRY. What do we have here? EDRY. All right. So this one, uh, nice pop, 150. What's the float on this? EDRY. Oh, my God. Not scary guys, stuff, man. If, if you're watching on YouTube and having an issue getting into the room, I... I no, I don't think any of the mods have experienced anything. I haven't heard mm -hmm. of any problems except for very, very few, just like one or two people. Um, I've been testing at it or, or testing it and looking at what's going on and everything seems to be running quickly and as it's normal. So I would say keep trying to get in. Yeah, yeah absolutely. I, I, you might clear your cache, try a different browser. Um, I haven't seen any issues this morning. So, um, uh, so yeah, guys, looking at... a. Uh, EDRY. Now this flow, guys, is nine hundred eighty thousand, right? That is a very, very, very low flow stock. Um, again, I, I, I'll be very, very careful with this. This is up one hundred fifty. We talked, we guys. If you've been around, we talked about this quite a bit, right? These type of floats, they can move very aggressively against you. Let's take a look at this one candle here, right? This is an actual candle, not a, not a, not one of these uh, transactions being recorded. This is an actual move. We're going from nine fifty to twelve bucks, right? Uh, if you're in this trade, it doesn't take a lot to drop that many that many orders, right? A couple of guys could do this pretty easily and put you in that position. Even if you have your stop on here, you know, if you don't get filled on time, you can have a huge slippage on something like this. This could happen both ways, top or bottom. So you're taking a big risk of, you know, taking a trade like this and uh, not being able to get out immediately. If somebody drops something on you, this could be very, very bad for you. So just be mindful of that. Um, I'm not going to watch that one. Uh, let's look at some other ones. You have your old, old, OTC, IM, uh, AC, uh, penny stock. So I see you have a lot of the penny stocks on here, uh, more of the lower price stuff. So again, not really my niche, but uh, this one here also doesn't look all that good. Let's look at what's the float on this. Yeah, lower flow stocks. So again, if that's your niche of the on the lower flow stocks, by all means, just go for it, but be very, very careful. Uh, let's look at BA. Uh, BA is also coming down with a lot of the travel related companies. Uh, this one is down 2.3, some good volume. Again, I do have Delta here and any airlines, you just got to keep reminding yourself of, uh, of you know, of the other rest of the airline companies that like BA, Delta, uh, United, American Airlines, oh, just remind yourself of that. For calling BA an airline company. I know all, all the time. But see, I'm an, air, I'm an airline guy. Though. I got my little uh, airframe hat go. on. Yeah, you know, <laughs> so. You know, BA uh, is not an airline. It trades uh, with them sometimes. Yes, so that's why yes. we say that. That's how we combine it there. Um, all right, guys, let's, uh, what else do we have? Uh, I'm going to scroll down here. XPV, we have that on deck. Let's check uh, YouTube. What else do we have here? Uh, XPV had earnings, by the way. Oh, they did. Okay. Yeah, they, they blow out earnings. So that's what's moving a lot of, well, them, obviously, but some of these other Chinese EV companies. Okay, nice. Doing very, very well. All right, let's start with Amir. You have mRNA here. we got a couple of minutes uh, to check a few of these. Uh, mRNA. Uh, what do we have here? Good day yesterday. Yeah, I did not. I would, I would say on mRNA, and there's yeah. a few of these out there, especially right now, unless you have a good amount of trading experience, I wouldn't go near this. Yes. It can be very difficult to trade. mRNA is a brutal, brutal stock. It's uh, it's, it's hard to read the price action, and some of these moves are are insane, really. And again, just look at the, the price range of these candles, right? That's important. Um, this is a five minute can five minute chart, and you can see how aggressive this thing is moving. The spread is ten cents, which is you know it's not decent. Not I'm not gonna say it's horrible, but it's not decent for a stock like this. Actually, it's more. Look at all these zeros in here. 
And I know it's the pre-market. I know it's going to get better at the open. Uh, yeah, but It's spreading for sure. Man. Yeah, you might have those gaps come in out of nowhere right when you hit your hockey, and that is not good. Now, that doesn't happen with an AMD. That doesn't happen with a United. It doesn't happen with these other companies that are a little bit tighter. It does happen with Zoom. Uh, it can happen with Baba here and there. So you just got to be careful with these type of stocks and the way they trade. Um, so we'll skip on that one for a second. Uh, all right. What else one thing we... I want to point out on MRNA yeah. is so they're trading up um, because of the Pfizer vaccine, and it's a similar technology. I believe it was Fauci yesterday said that he doesn't see any reason why their vaccine wouldn't be just as good as, as Pfizer's. They're supposed to, and Pfizer was the first one to start to announce their uh, their data. Um, that you know, what was that Friday? I think so. Mm -hmm. It'd be very. I, I, if I took a short on this, I would be so careful because that information could come out at any time. They're supposed to report any day. Uh, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, short or long. I guess it could mm -hmm. be bad news as well. So. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, all right, so Pete time being thrown out a couple of times. Let's take a look at that one, uh, and then we'll go over to our community announcements. Uh, rough pre market action, but this is typical Pete time. We usually see this type of uh pre market uh play, doesn't trail that well, and it still could have a good day. Now, the daily looks interesting, right? We kind of been slamming up against this uh 106, 107 area, it looks like right at the top of this gap down. So we have a nice gap down here. There's the top of that where we're getting a lot of resistance. Um, and we have some good higher uh, higher lows here, right? Kind of wedging up towards that level. So maybe a possible breakout. The volume is a little bit lighter than what I would like to see right now, but uh, this could be interesting. This could be a good possible actually. Uh, and then Piton is also, it has this day. There's some days where it's really uh, hard to trade as well. It's another one that moves a lot, guys. Uh, check out the spread on this one also. Uh, when it was a lower price, it was easier to trade. Uh, after this breakout here, it has not been easy to trade, right? So just be, be mindful of that. It's a couple of days in here that's been pretty wild. Um, all right, let's uh, go to our community announcements. We'll come back and uh, take a look at this list. All right, we've got a decent list, so I'm going to be quick. Seth, uh, Seth, Director of SMBU's Options Training Program. His webinar should be up and loaded for your viewing pleasure. Next week, Wednesday night, 8 p.m. Eastern, you've got Thor talking about the where, when, and how of level two and volume price analysis. Be sure to tune in. A lot of people have gained from uh, what Thor has been able to do with BPA and level two. Uh, Kreda's uh, webinar from last night, 5 p.m. should be up soon if it's not already. Keep an eye out for that. And then NATO next week, Tuesday, um, excuse me, Wednesday, 8 p.m. Eastern, she'll be talking about cultivating equanimity, having space for everything that arises. She is our mindfulness coach. All right, if, you're what, uh, if you want to participate in trade of the day and trade of the week, take a screenshot of your best trade of the day, mark it up, uh, entries, exits, ideas, strategies, whatever uh, rationale you had to take the trade, partial out, everything else, post it on Twitter. Um, Use the hash uh, or tag at bearable traders at Mike B underscore BBT and at Norm BBT. Also use the hashtags BBT family day trading and stock market. We'll pick the winner for each day. That'll be announced in the closing bell shown on Twitter. And also those people will be eligible to participate and compete in the trade of the week. We'll pick the best trade of the day from that week. That person will be announced on Monday when they hundred dollar Amazon gift card. Uh, Andrew's book is now available in Spanish. You can get it on Amazon or audiobook uh, via Audible. Uh, if you're watching this on YouTube and haven't been in the chat, you can do so at a discount. Go to the homepage, scroll down, you'll find the test drive. It's usually 39 bucks. It'll give it to you for 24. The promo code's pre-market 24. It's seven calendar days, five trading days in the room, unless there's a market holiday, which we don't have one until Thanksgiving. Um, doesn't auto renew and turn into any other kind of discount. Also gives you access to Carlos's onboarding class each and every Monday night, 8 p.m. Eastern. All right, thank you. Uh, Norm, let's get to it, guys. We got a nice list here today. It's starting with, uh, let's just scan through it. Neil is great. We gotta keep this on our list. Let's look at the daily setting up here and we see how great this could be uh, in the intraday uh, as well. Here is Liv. Liv's pre-market is still uh, not great, but at this daily, I'm really, uh, Liking what I'm seeing here, if we lose this level, we could possibly head down here to 34, hopefully. So I do like that one there. 
I'm going to keep it on there for now. Uh, FOSL, this is, could be a good possible, right? Uh, so they got news. They got to have some positive stuff going on there. Uh, but right now, pre-market's a little dry. Uh, let's keep it as a possible for the most part, and then we can always come back to it. So it's a good possible for now. Let's get rid of that one. Uh, PDD is great. Definitely going to keep an, uh, an eye on this one. Uh, let's see if we can get back towards the pre-market high over at 139.94. So this is uh, trading very, very well today. Good daily as well. That's a nice daily there. Um, also, guys, mindful, be mindful of your share size. So, you know, it has a great pre-market action, but this one also can move quite a bit on you, right? So it's a lot cleaner, a lot more volume, which is nice, great, uh, great uh, uh, candlesticks here. But again, just your number of shares has to be, uh, uh, you know, accordingly to what you're seeing there as far as the spread and also the movement. Uh, VXRT, I like the uh, pre-market uh, for a possible breakout. So I'm going to keep that one. CCL, yes, I like CCL. Beautiful pre-market action. That's good. XPEV, also looking great. Uh, I got way too many. Delta, uh, Delta's looking uh, decent. Decent. I like that one. So let's just go back. Let's get rid of some of these here. Um, lift, I think lift could be a possible because pre-market is not exploding. So lift could be a good, good possible. All right, we'll bring that down. That daily looks great, but the pre-market not so much. Uh, PDD is great. You know what? The more I look at PDD, I'm concerned with uh, with how this thing, how wide this, uh, these prices are. It's a 50 cents move there. The spread is a little higher than what I would like. For me personally, I'm thinking now just the way I trade. I think I'm going to move this to the side. Uh, I think I'm going to move it to the side for now. If that changes, I can bring it up. But I think that could be a little bit, uh, a little bit rough to trade as far as managing risk and the way this thing is moving here. So we'll see. Um, here's a CCL is good. XPEV is good, and Delta. Just think about all the other airlines as well. That one is good. So as far as possible, PDD definitely in play. Great volume trading, very nice. I just want to keep it on on a side list for now. Uh, Lyft is a uh, good. Uh, Fossil is good. PLTR also nice. Actually, I like PLTR uh, uh, better than PDD for for now for me personally. So I'm going to put PLTR back up here. Um, I like the way that is setting up. Might take a little bit to get towards that um, pre-market high to get going, but I like the I love the daily on this one. Uh, Lyft, Lyft is okay. Faso is uh, is okay. Uh, Baba, Baba is great. Now I'm not going to keep it because I don't like to trade Baba, but this one has a good pre-market action this morning. Nice bound alpha 265, but I'm going to remove it from my end. RCL, I don't need here. I already have a uh, CCL up here, so I'm just going to be thinking about any any. Um, any of the cruise lines are on there as well. Uh, VRM, VRM, uh, yeah, this this could be interesting. Uh, let's see, this could be interesting. JD, JD is good. LI, uh, yeah, I'm not a fan of LI. I'm going to take it off, guys. I'm not a fan of this one. Um, plug, I like plug, actually. I like plug a lot. I'm going to move it up because I want to do levels for this one. It traded very well yesterday. And if we can get to that pre-market high again and be strong, uh, I think that's going to be good for us there. So plug is good. I like that one. Piton, uh, Piton is getting a nice rejection here. So we'll keep it on as a possible as well. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One too many, but I think that uh, I think we can do levels for these and we can fine tune it towards the end of the show again. So here's Neil, definitely on top of my list. Probably one of my favorites this morning. Uh, high of the pre-market. You're sitting at 4490 uh, that is your high of your pre-market there, and that is uh, a little bit uh, off your all-time highs, which is from the, the highs from the last two trading days. That's all you really have towards the top there, right? Um, now, going back towards uh, the lows right now, you got your pre-market low right here at around 43.10. Uh, oh, excuse me, slower than that. Yep, right here, 43.10, which is pretty close to what the previous day closes at 43.08. So I'm not going to mark that down. Uh, I think the previous day closes is already covering you there. Also, the the lows, the highs from yesterday as well is right around that area. So again, I think you need to mark that. If you want to mark something, maybe this here, this 43.36, you had a nice bounce off of that uh, just a couple of minutes ago. So maybe you keep an eye on that. But for the most part, I think these two levels are on here, are taking care of you there. Um, they looks great on NEO, guys. I mean, just look how great this is. You had a nice little breakout. It came back here, found support, and now breaking up again. Uh, let's see if this thing is going to be strong. But be ready for a rejection. I mean, this thing is uh, on the daily has pretty much ran up quite a bit. Uh, as far as levels, if we lose this previous day close, right in here, you have uh, a lot of touches around 41.65. 
Uh, you got this day closing here, this day opening here, this one closing here. So you got three days that uh, their, their opening or closing has been right around that 4165. So I'm going to throw that on there in case we do decide to tank on Neo here uh, and go ref for the day. I highly doubt that's going to happen, but we'll see. Uh, VXRT, I love this pop here in the pre-market right now. Uh, we are up 11% on it. Um, the highs is 571. Uh, so we'll mark that there. That's your pre-market high, which is a great area of resistance. Look at the last couple of days. It has not been able to break out of that, right? Uh, tested it here, got almost quite to it, couldn't, and then came right back down. So we already tested that already in the pre-market this morning with some good volume, 3.5. Um, let's see this going to get some juice and and, uh, and get going here. Now, towards the bottom of this, we do have a 611, another great level. We got some support right on here uh, happening there. We got some more support here. We close right on there at 611. Very close, not quite, right? But almost an area you can see that there's a lot of support that happened there in the past that cannot become good resistance. So VXRT will keep on there. Uh, uh, CCL, let's remove some levels. We have some new highs and lows up here after a beautiful gap up on Monday uh, towards the bottom. Your low right now sitting at 15. Uh, 56 so we'll throw a level there uh that also a good area of resistance right on here also great resistance right over here as well got a couple of days that were able to break out but for the most part a lot of these days we're not able to get above that uh that 1556 there um now getting back towards the bottom we have another level here over at a 15 uh sorry 1483 it's a great area of resistance and support for ccl so Great volume money right now. It is down 3% at the moment, getting a little bit of a bounce there uh, for CCL. Here, XP uh, EV, again, this one has been very strong, guys. It is giving some back this morning uh, from the highs. The pre-market highs over here at 38.38. Uh, and uh, we have gone down to 34.86, but for the most part, this thing is still up 7% with a very, very beautiful daily here uh, showing that showing a little bit signs of strength as far as the bigger time frame. So I do like that there. I think all you need to mark down is those two levels, 38.37 and 38.484, and then the rest you're covered with the highs and lows from the last two trading days. Uh, you got your previous day close in there as well. So again, I don't think you need to add any more. This is pretty well uh, set up for you already with those levels. Uh, here is Delta, uh, Delta bouncing back from 33.61. Uh, Pre-market actions okay, but again, this will be my, my this will be my placeholder for any of the airlines. So I'll be looking out for United. Um, I'll be looking out for uh, American Airlines, which gets more volume, but I think it tends to be a little more choppier sometimes. Uh, so just keep those in mind when you look at uh, Delta or whatever airline you're looking at. Um, 33.61, good level of support there, bouncing off from the pre-market low. Towards the top, guys, highs and lows from the last two trading days got you covered there. Uh, and then towards the bottom, we do have, let's get a good level in here. This is a very uh, nasty daily. Um, but I think here, yeah, we got a lot of touches here. Not great touches. A lot of touches, but not great. Uh, 32.31, right? That's the level there. You got one here. A lot of resistance happening there. Uh, more resistance happening here. A little bit of support, not quite. Uh, but you, you're seeing a lot more resistance in that area. So that can become support now if we do decide to drop today. Uh, PLTR, so what are we doing here? This one has a beautiful, beautiful daily. Uh, Pre-market high sitting at 1706. So let's mark that there. Towards the bottom, your low is slightly above the previous day close, not by much. Uh, the low of the pre-market over at 16.11. Your previous day closed at a 15.96. Uh, and then towards the bottom, guys, covered, right? Uh, highs and lows last two trading days. And we are sitting at all-time highs. This is a recent IPO. Just opened up in end of October here. So uh, looking pretty good this morning. Uh, plug. So plug. Amazing day yesterday. And hopefully we uh, don't get too extended here above that previous day close line into the pre-market open. So uh, let's zoom in here. What do we have? Oops. Nope. I don't know. That's not what I want to do. Go back to plug. There we go. All right. Let's get in here. So for plug, uh, let's remove what we have. Levels from yesterday. Let's see. Remove all of this. Uh, so your highs and lows doing some good, uh, doing a good job for you right here towards the bottom. Your low of your pre-market right there, 22, uh, 22 to be exact, 21.99. Uh, so that's your uh, uh, pre-market low right now. And I think that's all you need to add. You got your previous day close up here. Have we popped up in the after hours above the previous day close? Yes, we have. So after hours last night, we did get to 23.19 uh, right up here. So let's mark that level. Um, have we been, is this all time highs for plug? Uh, it looks like it is at least 52 week. I'm not gonna go too far back, but yeah, at least 52. It looks like it's all time high. I don't see anything else above that uh, in the past. So plug again, it's just an incredible run over the last couple of days. Um, let's see what it does today, guys. It's been trading very well once it gets above that pre-market high. Uh, a nice bounce of a 22 at 22.84 right now. Let's see if this thing is going to continue to be strong today uh, after such a good day yesterday. So 
Um, all right, so that's what we have. Let's look at possibles again. Uh, PDD uh, looking really good, guys. That's a top possible for me. Uh, Lyft, okay. Fossil, uh, all right. Uh, VRM, eh, not so much. JD, okay. And Piton, all right. Yeah, possibles are not, not great. Besides PDD, the rest of these are not really looking uh, uh, too good right now. All right, let's take a look at what our moderators are watching this morning. Let's start with, uh, who do we have here? John. So John likes Baba. Again, we looked at Baba earlier. Baba does look great, guys. Uh, this has a beautiful, beautiful uh, pre-market action. Uh, nice little possible breakout here, so that's good. Uh, he is watching Zoom. Again, be careful if you're going to be trading Zoom. This stock can be aggressive sometimes. You got to have a, a good plan in place and be, uh, be well experienced. So again, here is Zoom, possible breakout as well. And he is also watching, uh, let's say those two, Baba and Zoom. Thor, he's watching Neo. Uh, we looked at Neo. We have that on our on deck already. That's a good one. Uh, so Neo's been very, very good to us. Uh, and then he's looking at the travel sector as well. Peter, uh, some IPO releases uh, that are, are a little bit uncertain today. He's going to be looking out for INAB and also IKT. So uh, still waiting on those. Uh, so Brian uh, has a uh, Neo plug. JD, PDD, and VRM. All of those we looked at, they're either in our main list or our possibles list, so that's good. Uh, Tiffany likes Neo, Baba, PDD uh, as her main list, secondary CCL, and JD, which are also, uh, again, on our list uh, as well. Peter's list, PDD, VXRT, uh, and AMD. How did we forget to look at AMD, guys? Um, we have to look at AMD just for Peter every morning. Uh, so AMD right now, again, not much volume at the most part. Pretty flat uh, here today, but... Uh, uh, we'll see what that does. I'm sure um, Peter will keep us posted. His secondary list, Baba, CCL, RCL, and NEO. Um, Jared is looking at XPEV, BA, and also PDD. Uh, Eamon has plug PDD, PLTR, which we have here. Uh, we have moved up to a, a good one this morning, holding nicely there. And he's also looking at Zoom. Secondary list has JMI, Cron uh, and also GRWG. Let's look at Cron, uh, Chronos. Uh, uh, all right, this one uh, pretty light today, but um, looks like Eamon likes something here. We'll see what that is. Uh, but looking pretty light today. Day looks uh, okay. Uh, JMIA. What do we have here? And JMIA uh, pretty light in the pre-market action. But again, uh, I think Eamon likes something there as well. All right, and then Brian is last one. Brian is adding XPRX, FPRX. Is this a and this a wild one? Yeah, this is the wild one. So this is this must be the one for fun for Brian, uh, as you know he, he throws out these uh, ones for fun. But this this has this is interesting. Usually when you get this gap up, you know you start kind of going sideways and kind of uh, losing losing steam here. This pre market is looking pretty strong. Again, another one, guys. Be very careful. Uh, what's the float on this? Uh, FPRX. We're looking at what? FPRX. I'm, the flow's not even coming up on, on uh, trade ideas yet, so can't be can't be that good. Um, all right, guys, that is all we have. Norm, uh, I didn't see your list, but anything that popped up to you that you're going to be looking at, or just kind of XPEB, I'll have an eye on. Uh, yeah. It's same same stuff. Most of these guys are are looking yeah. at here. Yeah, we're pretty we pretty much got a very fine tuned list as uh, we're watching almost very similar stocks this morning. Um, Again, there's some mornings like Monday, you could have picked just, like you said, throw a dart, right? Was that, that was, that's what Norm said, throw a dart and, uh, and, and whatever is going to be in place. Yeah, so more today. you do have to be, yeah. and, and, uh, and, uh, and patience as well. Very, very patient. So, guys, this is what we have. Thank you so much for joining us on YouTube. Brian and Andrew are up next in our chat. room. We'll take us through the open, and uh, we will see you tomorrow to end the week. So, again, just remember, be patient. Uh, Neil's looking good. VXRT is picking up nicely now. That's good. CCL uh, is active, but look at all the cruise lines. They all in, seem to be very active today. XPV is on, is on our list. Airlines, you got some stuff going on there. PLTR is good. Uh, and plug, if it can break out of here, can be good as well. So take care, guys. Make sure you hit that thumbs up. Me and Norm, truly, truly appreciate it. And we will see you guys tomorrow. And I just I want to say before we hop off, uh, the, the website is operating as normal this morning. So if you're having issues, clear your cache, try a different browser, um, keep trying. If you have an issue, send an email to team at bearabletraders.com. We'll figure it out. Absolutely. Take care, guys. Take care, guys. Thanks.